hi guys welcome back to my channel first of all i just want to say thank you so much guys for all your love your support your beautiful beautiful comments that you left on my previous video where i shared my labor and delivery story and how i lost my baby you guys have been so supportive and to all those people who also shared their um, personal journeys with me in my inbox like on my social media thank you very much guys i really appreciate that i think as women we need to support each other and share our stories so that we support other people who are also going through the same experiences um so if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much thank you very much for always sticking around and for always supporting this channel i really appreciate you if you are new here welcome welcome darling can you hit that subscribe button and turn on that not notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you'll be the first one to know um and also by the way oh i forgot to let you guys know that we are now monetized on <laughs> your support your love and all the beautiful beautiful comments that you always uh, give me and all the uplifting messages that you always give me and i really appreciate you guys for that and another thing i know that i said that i was going to post a video on is it on monday but i failed i failed this money <laughs> it's all because my week has been so hectic my week has been so busy guys and i've been really really not stressed as such but i've been so exhausted and i just said i need to upload a video this week i cannot uh, afford to not upload a video so here we are today uploading a video for you guys um yeah so today's video honey is quite an interesting one it's quite unusual it's a different one uh so last week on wednesday your girl your girl <laughs> she went viral on the internet around and beyond africa and what made me went viral is some pictures that were going around people were sharing so i had a um what is it called a photo shoot with my partner my boyfriend <clears throat> and those pictures were really beautiful they are really beautiful i can even justify it they're so so beautiful so i had a photo shoot with this guy called lee and he has um a company called rapture images he takes really beautiful pictures i think when it comes to outdoor pictures he is the god of this thing in zimbabwe because what i really like about his pictures he doesn't edit them too much they are so natural and they are really beautiful i think you guys have already seen for yourself i'll try and paste some pictures somewhere here on the on the screen but anyway um so after we did the photo shoot he posted these pictures on his platform on 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 what is it called on facebook and honey honey <laughs> the pictures went viral like i never expected i never expected that they will go that viral and i remember when we did the photo shoot for me i thought it's just a photo shoot like nothing much it's just us having fun and i never thought it was going to go that viral and i know for my whole life on the internet for my rest the rest of my life um since I, I started being active on the internet, I've never posted my love life. And I know people have been asking me, so who is your boyfriend? I remember even the beginning of the, the year when I posted that I was pregnant. A lot of people came through with comments, can you please show us the father, show us the baby daddy. And for me, I never did that. The reason why I never did that is because for me, I'm someone who is comfortable. I'm okay. Um, I'm used to this whole social media, limelight life. And I know I, I can handle like even negative comments and positive, like I can handle them well because this is my life. I'm used to this. However, I was like, if I bring on in this person into this limelight, is he going to, how is he going to handle? So for me, I was really scared and I was really not really comfortable for me to bring him on to the internet. But unexpectedly, he just woke up one day and his phone was like a lot of calls from people so we were telling him that they saw him on the internet um so disclaimer 
before I dive into this into today's video I just want to say that to all the people who have been supporting me I know you guys love me so much I know you guys support me so much uh, and I know you guys are going to say Sneak you should have you shouldn't have responded to all these negative comments from people you should just let them pass but you know what the reason why I decided that I want to respond to this is because firstly for education purposes, I want to educate people when it comes to to disability, relationships, sex, love, and marriage. Uh, and they're also just for entertainment purposes, guys. Like, guys, I went through most of the comments. And of course, yes, I've been stung on some of the comments here and there. But I think the majority, maybe 99% of the comments, I was just laughing through them. Like, I was like, people are really crazy. So that's the reason why I want to respond to these comments and react to some of these comments so for the video not to be too long and to make it quite easy I've decided to put this these comments into categories so the first category was money 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 and more money people were saying that this girl meaning me sneaky way me <laughs> people were saying that this girl should be really rich should be filthy rich there's no way she's just going to have um such a relationship this guy is really good looking this guy is really a good guy he's bulky he's you know people are just giving all those uh comments and so people are like there's no way he's just love this guy just like that it's the love this girl sorry there's no this guy is loving this girl just like that because um because of how she looks and all that but guys who told you that everything is all about money it's not everything that is all about money in this world um and a lot of these comments were coming from my fellow nigerian brothers and sisters mm, nigerian niger <laughs> guys there's something called true love i'm not here to share my love story or whatever no but i just want to point out a few things when I met this guy, I met him back in 2017. That time I was still at university. I was finishing my uni in my last year. And if I tell you guys that this guy didn't even know who I was. And because I think in 2017, my life coaching career was like starting to rise. I was starting to be in the limelight, ju limelight just a little bit. But this guy didn't even know who I am. And we actually met on social media, on, on, on WhatsApp. That's where we met. And if I tell you guys that those days, your girl i was very crafty and dusty <laughs> i was not uh i wasn't that you know like what you know what i mean and this guy just genuinely loved me and he approached me and you know and the rest is history i'm just hoping and praying that one of these days i'll be able to come with him here on the on youtube honey to share maybe our love story to share how we met or something like that i don't know i'm not promising but maybe someday i'll be able to do that so that's why you need to subscribe you need to subscribe <laughs> so when i see people saying that this girl comes from a filthy rich family guys i wish i wish god may grant all these beautiful wishes that you guys have for me i receive all the money that you guys are giving me i know yes i'm going to be rich but at this point you guys i don't have the money that people are saying i have the money that people assume that i have but anyway i just thank you guys for all your wishes that you guys wish me to have money and i thank you for that and then another issue that people were raising was the issue of infidelity and then people were saying this guy is just going to live a peaceful, beautiful, drama-free life because he married a girl with a disability and this girl will never cheat her in his life. <laughs> Let me just say, I have a history of cheating. Ah, oh my goodness. Whoever told you guys that someone with a disability doesn't cheat, I don't know where you got... Um, I don't know where you guys get all these ideas and all this information but i just want to say guys i'm a human being and this guy is not the first person to approach me or to propose love to me so i can cheat if i want to cheat not that i'm cheating or that i want to go I, i'll go ahead and cheat but i'm just saying if i want to cheat i can still cheat like cheating doesn't have to uh, doesn't have anything to do with 
disability disability or no disability people can still just cheat let's just put that straight honey and then another issue was um and you see this guy is still gonna cheat why if he wants to cheat he will still cheat uh there's no way that he's saying he's not going to cheat uh on me because i have a disability if you still want to cheat you can still cheat let me just tell you that guys i've been in other relationships before i've been cheated before people don't even care whether you have a disability or you don't have a disability if people want to cheat they're still going to cheat honey don't fool yourself that if i have a disability this person is going to feel pity for me and is not going to cheat if someone loves you they're just going to love you no matter what if someone wants to cheat on you they're still going to cheat on you no matter what okay so you guys and i don't know why people uh, feel like a relationship is not really like true love or it's a relationship that is based on something else but i just want to tell you guys that our relationship is very normal there's nothing special about it we fight like nobody's business we guys it's just a normal relationship just like anyone else just like every other person who is in a relationship yo i wish i, I wish i was that person okay another thing is i'm not the person who's going to be there bombarding you guys with a lot of relationship videos or relationship uh challenges and what yes of course i'm going to feature maybe um my relationships here and there on this channel but it's not something that i'm going to do like you're going to see couple challenges you're going to see, no no <laughs> i'm not going to do that these are some of the special moments that i just want to enjoy in privacy um so i wish i was that open up like so you know what guys last night i had a fight with my boyfriend or last night i had one night stand like i wish i was that open on the internet but unfortunately i cannot uh, be that open but the point that i'm just trying to drive is you guys have a relationship with just a normal relationship we fight we go through a lot we disagree we we block each other even <laughs> there are also some point where we even break up yeah we broke up in 2019 we broke up so it's just a normal relationship we go through a lot together as well so it's all about two people who are willing to make things work okay disability or no disability and then another interesting one which had me rolling on the floor and i even showed him and he was just laughing i was like people i don't know where they are getting all these things from it was the itch of sex sex <laughs> And I saw this comment, like a lot of comments where this guy is going to destroy this little girl. This guy is going to destroy. This guy is just too big for her. Guys. <laughs> if you think that you don't know me on your personal level, you don't know me on your personal level, you don't know how sassy I can be sometimes. You know what? I know that on, the, on those uh, pictures I looked really small. Like I looked like an 18 year old doll. But guys, I'm a whole 28 old. I'm a whole 20 year old, 8 year old lady. And I don't know where you guys get all these things from. That um, how is it going to work in the bedroom? Uh, she's a disabled. You guys, mind your own bedrooms. <laughs> And I just want to say that, guys, let me tell you something. There are so many ways of killing a cat. There's no one size fits all. What people do in their bedrooms is all up to them. Like, who told you that there's only one way of doing things? There's no one way of doing things. People can still discover. Like, when it comes to issues of sex and intimacy and whatnot, it's a field which people are still discovering you know that's why these days also have like the gay people we have the it's a field which is full which is uh full of discoveries and people want to explore a lot of different things i don't know where you guys get all this information that it should be it should happen a certain way or people should do it this way like there's no one way of doing things that's all i can say on this one i think i've answered you and i have said my enough has been said for today <laughs>
I remember I even responded to someone and I was like, I think I'm, I said, I said something around, I'm going to do a video call whilst doing it, like something like that. Because people, you, the comments were like, it's just too big for her. How are they going to do it? How are they going to do this style? How are they? And I'm like, eh, 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 people, Africans, mind your own bedroom. <laughs> Guys, there um, there was there were a lot of comments, a lot of a lot and a lot of comments, but I tried as much not to respond to the people on social media. I was like, I'm not going to stop that low. I'm just going to do like a, a short video on my what is it called on my on my YouTube, and that's why I'm here. So I think those are the main three points that I just thought it would be nice for me to share with you guys and just to let you know, guys, that um disability relationships love sex and marriage is something that can just it's normal for everyone it's all about you finding the right person because i know that there are a lot of people without disabilities out there and they are struggling when it comes to relationships they're really struggling guys and so it's something that happens it happens to everyone it happens to everyone um it doesn't have to be I know, yes, of course, I cannot run away from the fact that um, people with disabilities struggle a little bit when it comes to relationships. It's all because some of them, they're not uh, confident enough about themselves. Um, but this is my message to everyone out there, whether you have a disability or you don't have a disability. I just want to say that if you don't love yourself, there's no way that you are going to be fulfilled that someone really loves you or someone truly loves you you have to love yourself first you have to believe in yourself first you have to believe in yourself that you are beautiful first because i think if someone comes and tell you that you're beautiful in yourself you don't feel that you're beautiful you're just going to feel like oh, this person so all i just want to say that is you have it has to start with you you have to start like love yourself first treat yourself right so that when this com person comes, they really know how they should treat you because you have already given, you have already given them the green light that this is how I should be treated. I'm this beautiful. If I tell you that I know one of these days I'm going to do a video here, just sharing my journey, my relationship journey from the start when I started being in relationship up to now, I'm going to share with you guys, and I just want to see how far I have changed along this journey because I know that. When it comes to relationships, it's it's it's, it's such a not sensitive, but it's a, it's a lot, Bani. Inshallah, the pandemic, it's a lot. Um, but I just want to say it has to start with you. And I remember for me when I was a, still a little bit younger, I used to date and to be in relationships just to prove a point to people that I can be in a relationship, I can date, I can do this, which is not really the reason to be in a relationship. I feel like you should be in a relationship with someone who really loves and who really cares for you. And I was talking to one of my friends where I was just saying, you know what? For me, yes, marriage is good, guys. Everyone really wants to be married. I also want to be married. But I feel like as women or our generation, especially in this generation where people are just doing this world, roll a squad and people are wearing look at people are posting their weddings and whatnot on the internet looking all nice and beautiful and who is the best uh who is, which one is the best wedding in 2021 in 2020 people are just dating to be like married of which people are entering into marriage for the wrong reasons for me personally i feel like the end goal should be finding someone that you truly love someone that truly loves you or someone that you can really connect on a very like like personal level someone who can just say this is my person for me i feel like the end goal is building a solid relationship because for me i feel that if you have that if you have a solid relationship or if you have someone that you truly loves you or you truly love i think marriage will just come automatically um I'm not saying people don't get married, don't get me wrong, or I'm not saying people should just enter into relationships just to enter into relationships. Yes, of course, the end goal should be marriage and all that. 
but I feel like let's not really focus much on the marriage, but let's focus on building a solid relationship. Wow, look at me being a marriage coach. <laughs> Once personally, I also need some coaching. <laughs> oh my god! But anyway, guys, thank you so much. That was just the video for for today, and I also wanted just I, unfortunately I cannot really share now. But I just want to say to you guys, expect some good news. A few videos from now, ex expect some really good news. I'm going to be sharing really, really good news. And I know some of you be like, are you pregnant again? No, no, no. <laughs> it's like other beautiful, beautiful news that I'm just going to share with you guys. That I want you guys to walk with me throughout this January. So...